Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll show you a body horror film, American Mary. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Mary is a surgical student at a famous medical school. She studies very hard. During weekends, she even practices suturing turkeys at home. The professor thinks she is a promising student. One day during class, Mary's phone rings and interrupts the lecture. After class, Mary hurries to apologize to the professor, who is actually disappointed to see her fall asleep in class. The professor tells her that surgeons can't afford to say sorry. Mary explains that she practiced too late last night, that's why she fell asleep. However, the professor thinks that Mary is making excuses. The professor reminds her to focus on her studies and leaves after Mary promises him she won't make the same mistake again. The phone call Mary received earlier was from her cell phone service provider. They are going to cut the service off because of her overdue payment. Mary is struggling hard for money, but she has to pretend that everything is fine when talking to her grandmother. Desperate for funds, Mary decides to apply for work in a nightclub. She sends the club manager an email and gets an interview that night. The club is actually a strip club. The boss Billy leads her into a room. He takes a glance at Mary's job application form, but just puts it aside, for Mary's hot body and hormone smell interest him much more than her application form. Suddenly, a guy comes in and tells Billy that one of their men is not coming back. Billy asks Mary to wait there and leaves in a hurry. A few moments later, Billy comes back with a seriously injured man. He offers Mary $5,000 to perform surgery on the injured man. The only requirement is she should not ask any questions. Though Mary doesn't have a medical license, as a girl rich in hormones but poor in cash, she has no choice but to accept the deal. The man's injury is much more serious than Mary thought. She performs the surgery beautifully with some basic surgical tools. When she finishes the surgery, she takes the money and rushes home. This is her first time performing such a big surgery. Nervous and terrified, she cries in the bathroom. She is worried that she may be brought into some trouble, so she grabs a baseball bat in her hand before going to sleep. The next morning, Mary gets a call from a woman who addresses Mary as a doctor. Thinking that woman might be from the club, Mary is so scared that she hangs up the phone. Just then, the boss of the restaurant where she works part-time calls and tells her that the restaurant is locked because he can't pay the rent, which means she will have less income and life will be tougher. But Mary stays positive. Though upset, she still keeps practicing suturing at home. Just when she is practicing, the doorbell rings. It is her delivery. Mary tells the courier the code and asks her to come in by herself. Mary sees herself in the mirror and notices bloodstains on the apron. She goes to the kitchen and removes the apron. Just then, somebody slips in. Mary turns around and sees the door is open. A weird Betty Boop looking woman appears behind Mary. The woman named Beatrice is the one who called just now. In order to calm Mary down and let her finish what she wants to say, she gives Mary $200 in cash. She has gone through 14 surgeries to look this way. Today, she is coming to ask Mary to perform a special surgery for her friend. Last night, she saw Mary's application form from Billy and thinks she's pretty good at it. She would pay Mary $10,000 for the surgery, but Mary refuses it and says she would not repeat what she did last night. Beatrice doesn't push her. She tells Mary even if she hasn't made up her mind yet, she can get $2,000 as long as she shows up tomorrow. Mary is tempted by that easy money. The next evening, Mary shows up at the veterinary clinic where Beatrice is waiting for her. She gives Mary $12,000 and tells her to follow the patient's instructions. Mary walks into the next room and there is Beatrice's friend, who has a similar look to Beatrice. She wishes to look like a genderless human doll. She wants Mary to remove her nipples and external genitalia. Mary finds it hard to believe, so she confirms it with Beatrice. After getting the same answer, Mary finally agrees with the surgery. The surgery goes well as expected. When it is finished, Mary comes out with the surgical garbage and gives Beatrice advice for her friend. Mary also reminds her not to tell anyone else her name and other information. Then she leaves in a hurry. The moment she gets home, Mary throws up. It is because of the shock of performing the surgery. Soon Mary begins her residency in a medical institute. One day on her way to work, she sees a familiar figure. It is Beatrice who comes to thank her for the surgery. Because Mary told her not to call, she waits here and gives Mary a gift. After exchanging some greetings, Mary goes to work. At the end of the day, Mary is invited by her tutor to join a party at his home. It is a big surprise to Mary, because she thought her tutor didn't like her before. 
Mary attends the party in the dress Beatrice handed her. The professor comes up and chats with her. He is much more gentle than usual. While they are chatting, her tutor hands Mary a glass of wine. Mary drinks it without a second thought. Little did she expect that after one sip, she starts to feel dizzy and lose consciousness. Soon after, the professor shows his hormone color. He takes Mary to a bedroom and humiliates her. Besides that, he's even recording the whole process. When Mary wakes up, she finds herself and the professor both naked in bed. In shock, Mary runs home. Looking at the medical books on the desk, Mary makes a crazy decision. A few days later, Mary drops out of her residency and hires Billy to kidnap the professor. She is going to perform body modification surgery on him. The professor is tied to the operation bed, shaking with fear. What's waiting for him is tongue splitting, teeth filing, hormone weapon modification, and amputation. The whole process lasts 14 hours. Thanks to that, Mary has become a skilled underground plastic surgeon. Billy and his men are responsible for introducing customers and dealing with the customers that Mary doesn't want to receive. Mary just needs to focus on performing surgeries. Soon, she becomes famous for her great skills. One day, a police officer approaches Mary, who is investigating the disappearance of the professor. He has collected some disturbing secrets about the professor. He also gets a list of people who might bear a grudge against the professor. Mary pretends that she just heard about that. She explains that the professor is very strict with her. That might be why people think they don't get on well, but there is no reason for her to hate him. The officer leaves Mary his phone number and asks her to call him if she knows anything, but Mary doesn't take him seriously. At night, Mary goes to the club to meet Beatrice and Billy. Mary is a bit worried that the officer might know something from the professor's colleague, who's also joined the party that night. Mary and Beatrice leave the club together. When Beatrice finishes her performance, Beatrice gives Mary another gift. The success of her friend's surgery has attracted a lot of attention on the internet. There are two people who would like to pay Mary a large sum of money for surgery. This time it is the twin sisters, who would like to exchange their arms and make their heads demon-like. Mary can't perform surgery on both people at the same time, so Billy finds her an assistant. The surgery turns out to be a great success. Right then, she thinks of the professor, who is locked in another room, so she goes to check on him with a camera. The professor is hanging in the middle of the room. She has removed both of his legs, both forearms, and he is unable to speak. Mary shows off the success of tonight's surgery in front of him and tells him she is now not just a first-rate surgeon, but a surgeon who can afford to make mistakes. While flexing herself, Mary is knocked to the ground by a security guard who tries to free the professor. Mary sneaks up behind him and beats him to death. In the meantime, Billy kidnaps the professor's colleague and vents his anger to him. While Billy is beating him up, he receives a call from Mary. Billy is too busy to answer the phone, so he asks one of his men to meet Mary, who is a tough guy with long hair. Mary just took care of the professor and the security guard's bodies. She is sitting in a trance and full of shock over what has happened. The tough guy can see that Mary is upset. To make her feel better, he tells her his own experience. A few years ago, somebody broke into his mother's house and attacked her. She was seriously injured. He kicked her phone out of her reach, so she couldn't call for help. His mother was found three days later and stayed in hospital for four months. If he knew Mary back then, he would have asked her to suture that Arstival. The tough guy tells her not to devalue what she does. If she makes sure they deserve it, then she doesn't need to feel guilty. Mary thinks what he said makes sense and makes peace with her actions in her mind. The next morning, the twins wake up and give Mary a great deal of money. The surgery was very successful. Mary gains infamous popularity overnight. More and more people are asking her to perform special modification surgery. One day, she is about to see a customer off when the police officer calls. Mary hurries to clean up the operating room. Just when she shuts the door of the room, the officer arrives at the gate. She thinks the officer is suspicious of her, so she laces the officer's water with a drug. The officer has found some tapes of the professor raping girls. Though Mary wasn't in the tapes, he thinks she is also a victim. He is coming here to ask if she needs any help. Hearing this, Mary grabs his drink and gives him another one. The officer doesn't want to see Mary's life nosedive, but seeing Mary doesn't want to talk about it, he doesn't force her. When the officer leaves, Mary sees she has a missed call. She calls back and is told that her grandmother passed away. Now that her only family is gone and she doesn't have any friends, the only person she can think of is Billy. However, when she goes to the club, she sees Billy is having an intimate moment with one of the new girls. Seeing Mary, Billy gets the girl out in a hurry. Mary asks him if he removed her tapes. Billy did take her tapes, but he doesn't admit it. 
They both know what is going on, but neither of them speak of it. Mary doesn't speak much with him and leaves the room. Billy didn't expect that Mary would attack the girl with surgical tools in the toilet. Mary is about to kill the girl, but she then sees a camera in the toilet, so she gives up. Later that night, Mary meets Billy at the club. She is going to tell him her real thoughts. Billy tells her that he hasn't seen or heard from Beatrice for a long time. There is so much going on recently, so he really needs a change of pace. He asks Mary sincerely if she would like to go traveling with him. Mary doesn't answer him right away. Before leaving, she tells him she needs time to think about it. However, this is the last conversation between them. Mary gets Beatrice's call the moment she gets home. Beatrice is mortally injured by her friend's insane husband after he killed her friend. He also tortured her into giving away Mary's address. Before Mary can figure out what is going on, she is stabbed by a man from behind. Mary grabs the weapon and manages to kill the man. She climbs into the operating room with all her strength and tries to stitch the wound. She has performed so many surgeries in her life, but she can't save her own life in the end. When the police arrive later, Mary is dead already. The police find the professor's body in the house. Looking at the girl he used to know, the officer feels truly sorry for her. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.